Welcome back painting friends. Today we are going to paint a cute little goat. Now you will probably hear some weird noises in the background today because let's be honest, I do not make any money off of this YouTube channel. I strictly do it because I love to do it and so I don't edit things out too much and today it is sleeting, freezing, raining here in southern Indiana. So that is the subtle noise you hear in the background. But let's get started on our painting. So the colors you're gonna need are light blue, green, yellow, white, brown, black, gray, red, and orange paint. Don't forget to have a rag handy for keeping your brushes clean and a cup of water. The brushes that I like to use are my one inch flat brush, as well as my number six, four, sorry, number 10, four, and one round brush. So we're gonna create our background first and our goat is gonna be in a pasture, a little field. So I'm gonna take my one inch flat brush with blue paint and about um, just a little bit above the halfway point on my canvas, I'm gonna paint everything above that with a blue color, just a light blue. If you don't have light blue, you can always mix your own blue and white together and create that light blue. Same brush, didn't even wipe it off. I'm gonna grab some white paint and just add a couple of spots of white paint and pull those colors across because I don't like to have plain solid color. I like to have some lines in it. I'm gonna wipe my brush off and I'm gonna look at this base color. So I am going to paint my entire bottom green except up towards my skyline color. I'm gonna drop a little bit of yellow in here because I really want there to be a little bit of yellow. I want it to be a lighter green color right up there at the top. So all green at the bottom, a little bit of yellow at the top and blend those in. Take this paintbrush, wipe it off, wash it off and set it to the side. We are gonna let our background dry when we come back. We'll add in a fence as well as our goat. With a dry background, we're now gonna go in and start um, adding in our posts for our fence as well as the outline of our little goat. So I've got my number 10 round brush and I'm just gonna take some brown paint and I'm just gonna make some small little lines. Now, I don't really mind that the top of my lines follow my paintbrush um, shape because I like to think of this as kind of like an old fence, right? So I'm just gonna go in here and lay out some lines and try to keep them, you know, about the same distance apart. I'm gonna wash that brush off and set it aside. And I'm gonna grab my number four brush. And with a little bit of yellow paint, I'm just gonna kind of brush in some yellow on one side of these just to make it a little bit more textural and have it not look so boring as just plain brown. Wash that brush off, set it down. I'm gonna grab my itty bitty one and some watered down black paint. And I'm just gonna run a double line between each of these posts. A nice skinny double line for my fence. Now maybe your fence is super old and um, part of it's missing. That's totally fine. Um, and don't feel like it has to be perfectly straight because again, it's an old fence. All right, let's lay out our cute little goat. So I'm gonna use my number 10 round brush and I'm gonna make my goat gray and white with little hints of brown, but you can make your goat any goat color you want. I'm only really gonna do the face of the goat, um, but his body will kind of be behind him. So with my number 10 round brush and some gray paint over here on the right hand side, I'm just gonna make a gigantic letter U shape. So a big old letter U. And on the top of that U, I'm gonna add a nice curved line. So this is actually gonna be my goat's head. 
Now from there, I'm also gonna make a curved line that goes behind my goat. That's gonna be my goat's body. And then even a little football shape right here, that's gonna be my goat's tail. So I can go ahead and cover this whole goat in. When I'm doing that, again, it doesn't bother me if I kind of get some of that brown mixed into it because I am gonna add some brown to it. But I'm just gonna go ahead and cover my whole goat in with this gray color. When I cover in my tail as well as my body, I'm gonna change the color just a little bit. Like for my tail, I'm gonna add some white to it just so I can kind of remember where one starts and one stops. And for my body, I'm gonna throw a couple little spots of brown on there just to change my gray color a little bit so that I am well aware where my head stops and my body starts. Now for my body, I'm gonna wipe my brush off but not wash it off. I can grab some gray paint because my goat does have a neck right down here. So just below his chin, I'm gonna make two slightly curved lines. And I'm just gonna kind of brush some small little lines going up and down all the way to the bottom of my canvas just to show the hair on his neck and to show where that line really is. I might even add in just a little bit of black right underneath his chin just to show a shadow. So just little bits of black and then again, just kind of brush those colors in. I like to have some texture in my canvas paintings. A little bit of white, a little bit of brown, a little bit of gray and just really have fun kind of making my, my fur texture on his neck. I'm gonna wash that brush off and I'm gonna add on my goat ears. So goat ears are pretty big and they kind of come right here off the side of the, the head at the very top. So it's just gonna be a bump at the top and a curved line at the bottom. So if you see, there's a, a small little bump that goes up to a point and then a curved smiley face line at the bottom. Copycat that on both sides. And then my little goat horns. And for that, I'm gonna use um, a little bit of black and a little bit of gray on my brush. And my goat horns are right up here at the top and they are kind of curved out to the side. So it's a curved line and then the bottom curve makes it go in just a little bit. Paint those in with that dark grayish black color. wash my brush off and let this dry. When we come back, we will add in our goat details. With a dry background, we're now gonna go in and finish out our cute little goat. So I'm gonna start at the top and work my way down. I've got my number 10 round brush with a little bit of white paint. And all I'm gonna do is kind of lay some of this white paint just at the tip of his ears and kind of make it a little scruffy as it goes down. Right here in the top of his head, I'm gonna also go in with a, a texture that has just some hair. And this hair is gonna almost look like it's parted down the middle, right? So it's gonna kind of part down the middle and it's gonna get a little bit bigger right here in the center, right between where his eyes are gonna go. And then it's gonna start to kind of feather upwards a little bit more. So my lines are going a little bit more pointed upwards 
as it goes down to his nose. I'm gonna add a little bit of white right here at the top of his ears. Again, I'm just doing small little brush strokes. I want those colors to kind of come off of his ears a little bit. That's the top of his ears. And then I'm gonna lay out where his eyes are. And for his eyes, I am going to wipe my brush off and grab some yellow paint. Now, don't worry, it's not going to stay bright yellow. But I'm going to grab some yellow paint. And right here at the base of where his ear is, I'm going to make just an oval smiley face and frowny face. See that? Again, we are going to darken these up a little bit, so don't, don't get too worried yet. So, just an oval shape kind of really close to that ear. I'm gonna grab a little bit of white paint and put it in there just to make that yellow a little bit more opaque. I'm gonna fix the part, I made it a little bit too wide so I wiped that paint off and I'm just going back in with some gray to finish it up. Now I'm gonna take my number four brush and some black paint and I am going to make a small little line that kind of jets down at the corner of his eye and it's also going to just outline the eye just so slightly. a small oval on the inside of his eye with the same black. Now, I like to make my little goats with some uh, eyelashes, so I'm just going to go in and add a couple of little eyelashes on them. Goats generally have some pretty long lashes. And I'm gonna wash that brush off. We will come back and add a little bit more to those eyes as they dry. But let's look at our little goat's nose. So right down here, we're gonna wanna add a nose on there. And I am going to use a mixture of gray and white because I want it to be a little bit lighter than the rest of his body. So a little bit of gray and white, and then we're gonna add a touch of red in just a minute. But this little goat nose is gonna be a straight line across the curve down. Like I said, we're gonna add just a touch of red, and I'm talking like just a touch of red, almost no red. Put it in there just to kind of pink up that nose a little bit. A nice gray pink is what we're going for. Now, after you have this on here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little loop here and a little loop here. Inside of those loops, we're gonna add a little bit of black paint And then using my gray, we're just gonna kind of pull this pink up just a little bit into this middle nose area, just to kind of blend these two areas together. So see, I'm taking that white and that gray and just kind of blending the nose into that hair. So there's not a solid line at the top. Now his cute little goat mouth. I'm gonna take some black paint and draw a small line going straight down. And then it's gonna look like a big smiley face right now, but it's not gonna be. Big, long, skinny, smiley face. 
We are gonna stick a little tongue down here for him, so a little bit of red paint. I did not wash my brush off. I've still got that black on there because I don't want it to be a super bright red. I want it to be a little bit more of a muted red. And then another little black line that connects above it and under it. All right, so we have most of our features kind of laid out. Now we need to talk about texture. And for texture, we're gonna do the same thing we did with all of the, the hair on our goat. And we're gonna give him a little bit more textured hair. So I can use some brown and gray on here. Just kind of pull some lines of texture out. So my forehead lines are just gonna go right around his eye. I can even grab some of that white and pull some of that out just a little bit. Right down here around his face, we're gonna make those kind of fall down around that curve of the face. So just like this. And again, Feel free to grab some of that white and put that in there and just kind of pull that on down to it also. Down here on his chin, it's gonna just kind of swoop around. It's gonna be following that chin line. And then the other side of the face is gonna be the exact same. So let's finish up this ear and then we'll go over to the other side. So for my ear, I'm gonna take a little bit of black and put it in here, just right in the center. And I'm gonna bring out the gray around it. So a little bit of black, a little bit of gray, just to darken up the inside of that ear. Remember, I'm using my number four round brush to get these textures. Yep, I love that ear. So everything on this half, I'm gonna flip and do on that half. All right, from here, we just need to work on his tail and his body. So his tail is gonna be the easy one, okay? And these little hairs can kind of go off any direction. And you can add, again, any of those colors you want to in there, the grays, the browns. Just looking for that texture. And then for his body, I'm just really gonna kind of bring these lines going down. And I'm not gonna make these look as much like the fur as I did with the face and the, the neck because you're not gonna see as much detail on these. So I'm just gonna pull these colors down, make sure it's got a great rounded line to it. If you wanna give them a spot or two, you can. 
And what I mean by a spot is maybe I wanna take a little bit of black and just put a little bit of a black spot on there. So it looks like a little bit of a texture. I am loving the sweet goat. But we're not done yet because we need to add a, just a couple more things. Um, on his eyes, we need to add a small brown circle. So I've got my brown just right here in the side, small brown circle. And then I'm gonna use the back of my brush to add just a small highlight to his eyes. So a big dot and a small dot. I'm gonna add a couple little highlights on his nose. It's a small little curved line. Same brush, I've got my number four round brush, small little curved line on his nose, maybe a small little highlight on his horn. Maybe even a little bit of highlights on his eyelashes. Ooh, those really bring those to life, don't they? And then really the last thing you need to do is um, sign your name. Now I am gonna give you a secondary little small tutorial in case you wanna put flowers on this cute guy's head. But if you don't wanna put flowers on his head, all you have to do is sign it. So you're gonna sign it, you're gonna go ahead and post it to our Facebook page, Painting With A Purpose, because remember the only way I get to see what you're doing is if you post it on our Facebook page. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you're kept up to date on all of our latest tutorials. And remember, as always, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Um, thanks for listening to my freezing rain today while we painted, and stay tuned for the flower tutorial on this cute little goat's head. Okay, so I just finished this um, tutorial and I really want to add flowers to his head. So I'm gonna add just a couple of roses and a couple of greenery. You can skip that part or you can do it, your call. Um, I'm gonna add my greenery first and I have got my number four round brush. So for my greenery, I am going to make just a couple of lines of green. So maybe one here and one here. And these are gonna have small little leaves on them. And these leaves are gonna be like smiley faces and frowny faces. So just super simple little leaf shapes going all the way up. I'm gonna make them be opposite each other on my vines. They're not gonna be touching. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of my green paint and add just a touch of brown to it. Just a touch, very little brown. But it's gonna darken that green up just enough that I can also add, in fact, I'm gonna switch brushes. I'm gonna get my itty bitty baby brush, my number one brush. And I'm gonna take this darker green color and I'm gonna add some little curly Q sprigs. And those are just gonna look kinda of like these little guys just kinda of popping out. Might make three of these because I just really like curly cues. And then I'm gonna make one more color with my green. I'm gonna use green and yellow. So some green paint and some yellow paint. I wanna have a brighter green. So I've got three greens going on. My regular green, my dark green, and my bright green. And my bright green's gonna be my bigger leaves in my floral bouquet on his head. And so these are just gonna kind of be nice big leaves. They can kind of pop out wherever you need them to go. I'm gonna add three of these on here. Now with these bigger leaves, I'm gonna take a little bit of yellow and just put it at the tippy top of the leaf just to really brighten it up. Now, if you've never painted with me before, you do not know how I like to make my roses, but I'm about to show you because we use our finger. So I'm going to make one big rose right here in the middle of his head, and I'm only gonna use red. Usually I use two colors. Today is just gonna be red. 
and I'll show you why in a minute, but a big, huge circle right there. My second rose is going to be my orange color, and it's going to be covering up part of the red and just going off to the side a little bit, slightly smaller. And my third one is gonna be just behind that rose. Perfect, wipe my finger off. And I'm gonna find my number four round brush again. So with my number four round brush, I'm gonna take some white paint and I'm going to make an oval that is going to copycat itself. So it's gonna almost be like a spiral, but it's an oval instead of a circle. And it's gonna go all the way around my flower. So I keep wiping my brush off to get some of the extra off and so that when I get some white, it's clean again. wipe that brush off and then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that green color right here in the center and a little bit of that yellow color right here in the center now I'm gonna take my number 10 round brush I'm gonna add a couple of buds so for my buds I've got my orange paint on here and I'm gonna grab just a tip of yellow. So see that orange and yellow? And I could just kind of set this down right here and wiggle it around and call that a bud. So one, two, let's get a little bit more paint for my third one. I'll put the third one right there. Now on my buds, I'm gonna grab my number four round brush and some white paint. And I'm just gonna maybe outline the edge of it a little bit. And there we go. Now we have added some cute little flowers to this adorable goat's head. Um, I can't wait to see which version you go with, the original version or the souped up 2.0 flowers on the head version. But either way, make sure that when you're done, you sign your artwork. The only way I get to see what you're making at home is if you post it on our Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose. Don't forget, as I always say, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. And feel free to add to your painting. Look, I'm gonna give him a collar. See, sometimes when I start adding funny details, I just can't stop. So I'm gonna give this little guy a collar with a heart, and um, then I'm finally gonna call it done. So I hope you guys had a great day painting with me. I hope you are all staying dry and warm and safe, and I cannot wait to see you post these to our page. Have a great day, friends. Take care now. Bye.